Hello there. Almost didn't notice you come in. This is uh, Ryan O'Connell with another installment from O Vineyards. And so uh, this is to, to wrap up a few questions and, and uh, highlight a few comments in the entire barrel portion of this uh, web series. I've taken some decorating tips from uh, Heather and Anne in Tampa and uh, hopefully it'll spruce up the place, give it the touch of luxury it needs. And then uh, the other thing I wanted uh, to mention was I got a question from SS Chris, uh, one of the administrators at Wine Library TV's forum. That's at winelibrarytv.com. And uh, Chris wanted to know how often we have to rotate the barrels. That's what I talked about in the first barrel video. Well, we do it kind of based on how the wine is tasting. And I'll explain a little bit more about batonnage in general right now. Uh, batonnage, or stirring, as the uh, very technical Americans like to call it, <laughs> is uh, a process which you undergo when a wine is fermenting and then aging on the lee. And that's to say it's, uh, it's still on the, the, the grape sediment. Now, but typically, my research shows that at normal vineyards on the lee means that there's still living yeast in the lee. And when you stir, actually a white cloud of yeast can rise up. That's not the case with our wines. We're just stirring up the lee to increase extraction. Um, and, and I'm not really sure how that uh, lee yeast correlation works at, at your average vineyard. Uh, I just know that we end up stirring or moving the juice once every couple of months or once a month. And it depends on how it tastes, how it's coming along. If you, uh, if you have a white wine, you have to do it a lot more often, especially during fermentation. But we don't have any white wine. We only make dry red wines. And so the red wine can handle a lot more of the, the oomph. And it, uh, as long as you stir it occasionally, uh, it, it keeps its, its roundness and bigness, and it won't, it won't get overly yeasty or, heaven forbid, uh, rotten eggy, which is something that'll happen if you leave a wine on yeast without stirring it. And, uh, so to answer your question, <laughs> we do it every now and then, and we, we kind of, we can do it a lot more easily now, <laughs> but, uh, we never... We never really have a straightforward answer because things get so complicated here and, and uh, it's like having a, a meteorology textbook. If, if it's short, you know they're oversimplifying things. Alright, that's really all I got. Uh, hope you enjoy my luxurious den and uh, keep on visiting and, and, and check out that Wine Library TV forum. And uh, if you're ever in Tampa, uh, check out Heather and Ann.